Hey everybody, this is Archarka, and in this video is the new Ultra Rush Mission Times. I mean, pff, what can we ask for more? We had the Ultra Rush missions, which were extremely annoying, and now we have new ones that are even more annoying. So, in this video, I am going to do the last fight from Rush 7, and during the video, of course, I'm going to talk about uh, different ideas which you can use, because uh, I saw on Facebook that people were talking about uh, different uh, problems that they had, including fights where uh, they were entering endless loops and uh, they actually had problems. So, I'm going to cover basic strategies, uh, about all of the situation and of course the live demonstration about the last fight. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. Last boss from Rush 7. Now in this match I'm going all in. That's why since I'm fighting a Saiyan and that's a transforming Broly, I am going first fight uh, with the Lian Age of Evil. In my opinion now this fight is impossible to finish in with one team. So because I'm sure that I'm going to use more than one, I'm not actually rushing in to use a Goku team. Absolutely no need. So that's why. If you guys uh, wanna finish these missions and you're having a hard time doing it, here's my suggestion. Uh, just for the first uh, part, use whatever characters you have. When you encounter units that actually have a lot of healing, only then try to use a strong, um, strong characters. Besides from that, this ultra rush is just like the others. It's not a, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Yeah, it's simple as that. And that's why, for me, this has been extremely, extremely boring. I don't know exactly what the idea. From the looks of it, it's just something that uh, the developers have given us just so we just stay in the game for some reason. I mean, the reward is crappy. We are getting that Goku ticket. Those Goku tickets are not new. The last time uh, we had them, I remember I did a summon big one i mean a really big one and uh, overall i think i had i don't know 50 tickets a lot of them i don't remember but the idea was that at the end i got absolutely nothing relevant everything there was bad for me but at least that time it was not such a big deal to gather the tickets right now to play these uh, annoyingly long missions because you are fighting an opponent that has a lot of health and yeah, if you're not using a proper team, it might be surprising with some damage, but overall it's not difficult. As long as you have uh, your roster is big enough and you are using color advantage, you will eventually get the win. So just to play and play and play and play for a Goku ticket and then when you do a summon to get some extremes or heroes, I don't like it. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't like it. Simple as that. But enough me rambling about uh, what I think about these missions or not. The one interesting thing I saw on uh, Facebook was that people were complaining about uh, the rush mission with uh, Vegeta, with the immortal Vegeta. That one that has healing and um, he also has immortal body. Now, here of course uh, we don't have that problem. But uh, if you guys want to finish that mission, and if you guys have issues with it, then here's what you need to do. You need to get Vegeta to low health, and then before you actually hit the killing blow, use somebody that is nullifying immortality. Simple as that. You have a lot of options. Of course, the easiest one would be to land the last punch with a hit because heat is nullifying uh, immortal body at any actually card even with uh, tap punches he nullifies uh, he nullifies invulner invulnerability damn it uh, but if not you have other options you have uh, i don't know on top of my head uh, full power frieza with his blue card you have super vegeto with his uh, main ability you have goten with his main ability you have real though Another one that is, uh, I think, uh, for every hit he is using, he is nullifying. So, just fight Vegeta, 
get him to low HP and then in the last uh, in the last thing that you are planning to go for have a Goku so you get actually the reward and somebody that is nullifying abilities besides from that yeah I agree it might be difficult I also fight with uh, Sin Shenron and also once uh, I took him to zero he was jumping to 10 million damage uh, 10 million HP and if you just try to do the damage let's call it regular style I don't know uh, then that could be problematic you would need uh, pretty strong characters and uh, yeah of course you need to be a little bit careful but if you go for somebody that is nullifying uh, invulnerability then should be easy that's why my suggestion if you guys have hit or real though I think those two are the easiest if you don't have those two then just pick somebody else that uh, that has the problem is that you are going to probably have to wait for either the main ability or the blue card but oh well at least you will win the fight now back to Broly uh, Broly is also a character that has healing because he transforms that's why uh, I'm trying right now in this fight to do as much damage as possible I know that when I start the next fight he's not going to be transformed and he's going to have less HP but then he will once again transform, transform and uh, heal himself so that's why in this type of fight uh, there is no secret you just have to go full cannon full cannon means go with high DPS right now I have chosen to go with uh, with Zenkai cooler and then I also took um, Frieza pod because oh well he is blue simple as that and then I took um, metal cooler because he does not have uh, he does not have a color disadvantage he is Lian age of evil because he will need the box from uh, from cooler and because I was too lazy to search for a better character yeah, yeah I know maybe surprising but I knew that uh, only Zenkai cooler should be enough to do the damage I plan to in this first attempt as you can see I am uh, going to distance right now uh, this match is going to be over in a few seconds none of my characters are dead not even the red one so overall I think I did my job pretty decent I did the damage he is at uh, almost half I am assuming that uh, when we are going to start and Broly will not be transformed that uh, the difference is going to be even bigger we, are see, we will see a big drop in its uh, HP so that's why right now I can see two options I can either go directly for a Goku team or I can play another round just with a similar team like this one with color advantage because I am lazy I am going for the easy solution <laughs> and that's why I am going for auto select and the team proposed by the game is actually a good one <laughs> you saw there that I have um, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku now with Super Saiyan Blue it is going to be pretty simple and yeah before I forget just look at its HP when I finished the last fight I was around 23 million if I remember right now down to 14 of course he will transform and he will jump back to 20 plus I assume we will see in a moment but overall yeah right now I'm hitting him pretty pretty damn strong and uh, of course in this match the wild card is uh, my blue Goku I'm going to do my best to hit uh, the raising rush with him and also any green card that I'll have I will use with Goku <laughs> perfect two of them <laughs> yeah uh, Super Saiyan Blue, no surprise. When you use green, green cards for them, uh, you just get damage, you get key, and overall exactly what I need in this match. It is very unlikely that Broly will be able to kill my Super Saiyan Blue, because uh, if I feel any danger... And ah, I forgot to check exactly how much health uh, Broly had when he transformed, sorry about that. Ah, you can just rewind and, uh, and double check if you're interested back to the fight uh, as I said very doubtful that uh, Broly will be able to kill uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku if by some miracle I do a really big mistake and he hits me with Raising Garage that's pretty much his only options because besides from that I will uh, I will pretty much uh, try to keep him safe and I will have cover switch 
Also, right now it's time for the main ability. I still like this move. I really do. BAM! And just like that, we are approaching the mark. Uh, actually, the health Broly had before he transformed. <laughs> So 10 more uh, million left to go, actually 10.5, and still 117 counts, should be enough. I am hoping that uh, the next rush will be sufficient. Also, another thing that is pretty obvious, but I prefer to mention it anyway, uh, in case you're using teams uh, and characters that don't have color advantage, like I am doing right now with, uh, with the Red Goku, then it would be an idea not to let them take a lot of damage because you are going to lose them early on and then it is going to be pretty difficult to actually maintain um, maintain number advantage and it's going to be difficult to switch your characters so you can have your vanishing gouge whenever you want it. Right now it's rush time. Yeah, so he will not die. The annoying part in this fight is that Raising Rush is doing a little damage. I mean, I think my maximum in the fights I had was around 4 5 million? Something 5 million, yeah, this was it. And we are talking right now about Goku, which has uh, overall buffs. I think he's doing 60% more damage, something like that. I'm also using uh, green cards for extra damage, and also I have color advantage. And with all of those things in mind, I only did 5 million. <clears throat> oh well. In other fights where I was not using uh, Goku, <laughs> I actually had a Raising Rush that did uh, <laughs> 600,000. But oh well. My roster is pretty big, really big actually. And because of that, I can actually afford this thing. And boom! Well guys, basically this is it. In fights like this, go for cannon. If you guys, if you have an immortal, then go for somebody that nullifies that ability. Simple as that. I really hope that uh, this video is going to be useful for you guys. And until next time, as always, I am Arch Arkan. Thank you guys for watching. And if I get anything good from these tickets, I'm also going to do a summon video. But mm, we will see. Thank you guys and see ya.